This isn't going to be a long video. Um, oh wait, hang on. Let me make sure the full comment is captured. So, yeah, I just woke up, if y'all can't tell by the state of my hair. Um, I got to head up to the library because I got about 60 pages of evidence that I got to print out for my trial. Um, probably more than that because I'm going to go back and, and look at some stuff, so it's probably going to be more than 60 pages, but I'm going to separate it into three folders for my trial with the most important key evidence in one folder and other evidence that I may not need to present in two other folders, but it's always best to come thoroughly prepared when you go to court. So, and yeah. But, um, before I even got dressed or ate my breakfast or got my day started, I went to read my comments across social media. Uh, read my TikTok comments. I don't make videos, but just read in the inbox. Um, read my Snapchat comments and you know then I went to read my YouTube comments and you know I wasn't even going to reply to this guy the only reason I replied to this guy is because he's been on my channel for a while um but it just really made me realize that school is fucking useless well not useless school school teaches you to be this way when I was in elementary school, we learned about the three stages of matter, okay? Um, there's a fourth state of matter now called plasma that we discovered um, in recent years. But when I was in elementary school, we learned about the three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas, okay? We knew this as fucking kids, but back then, you could actually fail school. Now, by the time I got to high school, they made it impossible to fail. They lowered the passing standard to 60, and you'll never get a 60. As long as you show up, you'll never get a 60. All you gotta do is show up. So you can't even fail school. Now, this has some interesting consequences. You got people who can graduate high school and not know about the four stages of matter, solid, liquid, gas, and now plasma. Why am I wording it this way? I made a post. I don't even remember what I said on the post. I don't really feel like going back to reread it, but I think I said something along. Oh, yeah, because Felix had discovered that there's people in this life who want to die, but are too afraid to take their own lives. So, and yeah, I said that. I said something along the lines of beginning of a new problem. I, I need to go back and reread my post. Um,. Social media is a very small part of my life. I don't fucking, you know, I'm, I post and then I don't read it again. I make a video and then I don't watch it again. But this dude, on the surface level, this isn't a bad question. The main reason this annoys me is because he's been here long enough to understand what's going on. But I also understand this is the autism, Asperger's, Down syndrome, brag about your mental imperities generation. I understand that a lot of y'all have an impaired ability to learn. So, this is the most free lunch I'm ever going to give in a video. I'm not going any further than this. If you don't understand after this explanation, like I told this guy, just get off of my channel. Because this really is not hard to understand. Let me make sure my computer isn't overheating. Turn the fan up a little bit more. So he asked, if somebody does kill themselves, how is that the beginning of a new problem? They're literally gone. No. What you're supposed to learn in elementary school, I don't know if they stopped teaching this, or I don't know if this individual simply slept through his classes and passed anyways because you can't fail anymore, right? You existed before you were alive, okay? Obviously, you have no memories of that because before you were alive, you didn't have a fucking brain, so you had no place to store your memories. Although even this is being disputed because um, 
There's a heavy debate in the scientific community on if memories are even stored in the brain at all because there's people that got brain damage in regions where their memory should be stored and they still remember everything perfectly. So even that is being disputed right now, but if we're going to go based off of what we currently understand about the human body, obviously you don't have your memories from before you were alive because you don't you didn't have a fucking brain to store your memories. And if you die, it's the same thing, right? Should you die and somehow come back to life, you're not going to be able to tell people what you experience because you leave your brain here. Your brain is a physical gift that you only have in life. Now, why is this important? The cattle orcs do this thing where if they don't know something, they make an assumption. They do this thing where if they can't physically see or comprehend it themselves, they jump to a conclusion. The two conclusions that they jump to is that there's nothing there. If they can't see it, it doesn't exist. It's not There's nothing there, right? Or if they can't see it or understand it, it has to be the work of some divine entity. You existed before you were alive. Listen to what I'm going to say very closely. Right now, as a living human being, you exist in a physical state. Okay? Look at them games. Too big for the fucking camera. You exist in the physical state right now. Before you were alive, you existed in a gas energy state. Obviously, as an energy state, you didn't have a brain, so you don't remember shit. Physical manifestation is the final step. Should you die, you leave your physical body here, but your energy returns back to source, okay? So you return back to what you were before you were alive, as above, so below, as within, so without, right? But you leave your physical body here, your brain that contains, from what we know, your brain that contains your memories, because the whole your memories aren't stored in your brain thing, that's still, a, that's still a theory, that's still a debate, that's not something that has been factually proven to be true. But from what we know, your brain stores your memories. So if you die, you leave all your physical gifts here. You leave your hair here, you leave your body here, you leave your brain here. So the people, Jetty said, you know, years ago when I was talking to him, he said that he wanted to die and then come back and then tell people what, that's not going to happen. If you die, you leave your brain here along with your memories. If you die and you return to source, that's your energy returning to source. Your energy is immortal. Your energy, because energy can't be created or destroyed. This is also something else you're supposed to learn in elementary school. But I'm, I, you know, I've thought about doing this, man. I'm going to get a camera, a high definition camera, and I'm going to just go to the schools, man. And I'm going to directly ask teachers, what the fuck are they teaching you people now? I'm going to go to the elementary schools, the middle schools, the high schools. I'm going to interview teachers and principals, too. I'm going to just fucking make like a mini documentary with educators because what the fuck are they teaching you people in school now, man? You should have learned this in elementary school. Energy can't be created or destroyed. Your energy, your human conscious energy, that's where your free will comes from. That's where your life comes from. Should you die, your body gets left here. But your energy returns to what it was before. Gas, a state of matter. A state of matter. Something that I, this is how I always explain it to people when they're first trying to understand it. And again, this guy annoys me because he's been here for years. He should get it by now. But that's the thing. If you don't want to get it, it doesn't matter how long you study something. You never will get it if you really don't want to. He wants death to be an easy solution to his problems, as does most, as do all of the cattle orcs. Cattle orcs want to believe that they can waste their fucking lives because in death it'll all be over. That's not how it works. 
I'm not gonna go any further than that though. I'm already given I'm already it already annoys me that I have to explain something that you people should have learned in elementary school. So especially especially to a dude who's been here for a while. But um here's how I always explain it to people. You take a block of ice, if it melts, the ice doesn't go away, it simply changes matter. It turns into another state of life. The block of ice now becomes a liquid. If that liquid dies, okay, through evaporation, the water itself isn't dead. It simply changes matter. It goes from being a liquid now to a gas. Cloud, right? Evaporation, it goes into the air, etc. Um, that's why if you've ever boiled water, if you've ever gone to the source and boiled some fucking water, but you people don't know how to cook, you people don't know how to do shit. I get it, right? Y'all don't know how to boil an egg. Y'all don't, y'all don't know how to do anything. I get it. I get it, man. Y'all just know how to sit on the internet and fucking read memes all day. I, I get it. Just, just listen, listen, man. I got you. I'm going to teach you how to boil a fucking egg. Okay? Go into your kitchen right now. Put some water in the pot. Put an egg in the pot. Turn that motherfucker up to hot. What you're going to notice is once the water gets hot enough to die to where it starts to boil and it, and it starts to shrink in your pot, you're going to notice something called steam rising from your pot. If you put your face near the steam or if you touch the steam, you notice that while it's hot, it's still watery. It's still liquidy, right? Because when the water's evaporating, it's turning into gas and it's entering another state of matter, right? Matter. If you boil enough water in a small condensed room, you notice that eventually you got a whole fucking mist field in your room. So I get it. You people don't want to go to the source. You people don't want to boil an egg. You people don't want to do anything. That's why y'all ask me these questions that you should have fucking learned in elementary school. But I get it. They're not teaching you people anything anymore. Or maybe they are and y'all just aren't paying attention to the teachers. I get it. What I, what I said to this guy applies to everybody, man. It doesn't take 10 years to understand this shit. It doesn't take 10 months to understand this shit. If what I just explained in this video confuses you or is incomprehensible to you, if you don't understand that energy can't be destroyed or created, that's a basic rule of science. You people say that I'm anti-science, but y'all are anti-science. Because why do I quote more scientific shit in my videos than y'all do in the comments if I'm so anti-science? Energy can't be created or destroyed. Before you were a physical human being, you still existed in a different state of matter. Should you die, it's not over. You're not gone. You simply change energy states. You simply change from a solid back to a gas. You change your state of matter. Okay? If what I just said confused you, I really would suggest you just get off of my channel and find something easier to do with your life because what I just explained is the most basic, 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 basic shit that you should have learned in elementary school. You people that have special education courses, I just got done talking to um, a fucking teacher for special education last week. Now, she told me that instead of graduating at 17, 18, you guys graduated in 19, 20, 21. So if we're going to convert regular education to special education, you people with autism and Asperger's, y'all should still be learning this shit in middle school. There's no fucking excuse, man. Like, but I'm gonna go to the source. I'm gonna find out what these people are teaching y'all, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, cause it's public record, right? Schools are public, so I'm gonna walk into the principal's office. Hey, man, give me a copy of the curriculum. Uh, what do you need that for? I just want to see what y'all are teaching people. 
I'm going to look at the curriculum myself and I'm going to see, okay, is school itself not teaching y'all the basics of science anymore or or, or y'all just slow? Because what the fuck, man? I really had to sit down and explain the fucking four stages of matter. Now, granted, if you don't know what plasma is, that's understandable because plasma was only recently recognized as a state of matter. But solid, liquid, and gas, bro, come on, man. Like, see, I'm so fucking annoyed. I'm, I'm hitting my keyboard. Um, shit's popping up on my screen. Come on, man. Now, I know what somebody's going to comment. Oh, but Chris, life and death is different. It's not as simple. Why isn't it? What, where do you think you were before you were born? You still existed in this plane of existence. You were still here. You just weren't in a physical state. I'm going to leave it at that, man. I'm already, really, I'm already saying too much. And I'm not saying too much. Like, what I'm saying is not groundbreaking information. This is shit that you should have learned in elementary school, but I get it. The main reason y'all are confused is because y'all try to mix religion with science. Y'all try to mix faith with truth. You got to pick and choose, man. Do you want the truth or do you want what you believe? Do you want logic or do you want faith? Do you want science or do you want religion? You can't have both because both contradict. So if you want truth, logic, science, and natural law, the truth of the matter is simple. Before you were alive as a human, before you were born into a physical state, your energy was still here in the universe in a different state of matter. And should you die, your physical body stays here. All the physical gifts you have, like your brain that stores your memory, that stays here on Earth. Unless you die someplace else, like in outer space, then your body stays wherever the fuck it died. But your energy, your immortal energy, because energy can't be created or destroyed, your conscious immortal energy, it's still alive, just in a different state. And what I would advise everybody to do is consider this. You entered life for a reason. You left your previous state of existence behind for a reason. In life, as a human being, as a physical human being, even if you don't like living, your own inner voice, that strong negative feeling your body gets when you think about death, your body and your inner voice is warning you that you don't want to go back. That you don't want to go back to that other state. That's why even the most depressed people in the world, they don't take their own lives. That's why people who want to die, they don't take their own lives. Right? Everything in the universe is warning you that you left your previous life behind for a reason to come here and be born as a human and you don't want to go back. I've said enough. No more free lunch, um, at least in terms of if I do any more free lunch in the future, it's not going to go above this because this is ridiculous, guys. I really shouldn't have to explain this. This is something you should have learned in elementary school in second, third, fourth, fifth grade science. And if, you, if you're on the spectrum, this is something you should have learned in middle school science because the special education teacher, she broke it down to me. I should have got her fucking number. I should have brought her on this video. Shit. I wasn't thinking, man. I, sh I should have fucking got her number and got her on this video. So, so she could break the shit down. But there's no excuses, man. You should have learned this, but I'm going to go to the source. If they're legitimately not teaching this in school anymore, then my bad. Right? I'm going to go to the source and we're going to get to the bottom of this. We're going to see if, if, it's, if, it's, if it's a you problem or if it's a them problem. But if they're really not teaching this in school anymore, my bad. I apologize, but we're going to figure it out, man. We'll catch you on the next video.